Step 7, create invoice receipt for rent expense. It's going to be inside accounting, financial accounting, so account payable, document entry, invoice. Now, this part here, you need to insert your vendor number. If you don't remember, then use the search help to find it. Now, my search term is 1005. I'm going to have a few inputs, but currently the one that is related to this case study is cardinal properties. Okay, now we're clear on that. Okay, the invoice date is going to be on the date that you are doing this case study. For mine, is on the 13th of June. And then the amount for this invoice is going to be 1,500. Okay. Now, the next thing that you must do is basically go to edit, go to switch company code. Insert US00 on this part here. Press on enter. And then you're going to have this base, this kind of data that is being populated here inside your screen. Now, we need to enter this part here. We're going to insert the account that we have created that is 75, your ID, and then your ID, mine is going to be 090, and then 5. Okay, choose this part here as debit. And then, inside this part here, it's going to be 1,500. Now, before that, there are a few things that you need to insert. Now, we need to find the tax column. The tax column here, insert the information that is invoice, cardinal, rental expenses, insert your ID. Mine is going to be 1005. And then, cost center. Is this cost center? No, this is company code. Is this cost center? Yes, this is cost center. It's going to be NEHR2. So now, I'm going to be using the same one, 090. Okay, now, afterwards, then press on enter. Okay, you're going to get this warning message here. This is just a warning message, no problem, just click on OK. You can skip on that and then click on Simulate to check whether everything is OK or not. OK, just to make sure that this thing is being removed, the, error, the warning message, press on Enter again. OK, now notice the warning message is already gone. Now we can... Hmm. I already confirm on it, so just let me pass. Okay, now it's already allow me to go to simulate. So this is the screen for simulation. Now, after you already received this screen, just go back. Okay, and then you can click on post. Click on OK. Click on enter. And then, the document has been created. Okay, and then you are done with step 7.